Hello everyone, this is Kangar, and today I am going to play an entirely new game, different game. Not Skyrim, but Until You Fall. And for this, there exist weekly or regular challenges, I think two bi-weekly or something like that. And one challenge is to, uh, to play through as far as you can um, with level 1 weapons, basically a new character. So I'm going to do that, abandon this run, which was just to show you the coolness of the game as a start. Yes, I have fallen. Arias again. You get these aether, um, that's a currency that you Hello, can champion. use here in this hub which you can use to buy new weapons and stuff which I won't do because I will start a game entirely with level 1 weapons you can see that here totally nothing changed super basic and the second easiest difficulty there is apparently a nightmare difficulty right there which I haven't even unlocked yet this is the third time I played this game it's a lot of fun. I only bought it quite late because in the beginning it didn't support the index, but now it does. As you can see it's very active and you need to block <laughs> at the indicated position. Magnificent. So it's a very well thought through Mm, what's that? Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Yeah, that's it. Um, you have these rooms, right? These, and um, at the end of a room, you can upgrade your weapons. Uh, but that doesn't stay, right? Uh, that's just for the course of this specific run. Ooh. So if you break their guard, which is uh, then indicated by that orange thingy, um, you have to hit them in a combo. And if you block them, you also deal damage to the guards. If your weapons um, have slain enough enemies, they get some supercharge option, which I haven't shown yet, because it wasn't worth it. But just to show you... Ooh. What's that? Come on, damage. Yes. So, for example, this weapon, I uh, need to press the trigger, and now I can... stop them in their, like, I don't know, I freeze them or something like that, which also deals some damage, guard damage. So this game is really, um, it's a melee concept that's very arcadey and very fun to play. Right. It's, uh, you get immediate feedback and you know what you have to do. It doesn't mean it can make it easier, right? But um, yeah, it's just very satisfying yeah, throwing them away like that. And this is a little mini boss, it's not too difficult. But I activated my my supercharge of the right weapon, which you have seen. I got hit, but I didn't get hit. It's basically just a little extra shield. And then you have these combos that are really satisfying. Ooh, I got hit. This guy doesn't mess around. <laughs> well done. Whew. You can see that's already pretty exhausting. Uh, this one just uh, regenerates some health, 
which I'm going to do now because I want to live as long as possible just uh, for this little run because it's, uh, it's a weekly challenge. I mean, not that I'm actually competing um, with the real players that know this game already, but... Ooh. I slashed both of them with one strike. <laughs> that was nice. Bad. That was bad. I think I was being too slow. So now here you can, for example, upgrade some some uh, the weapons like this. Bulwark is a uh, special uh, ability of this weapon. That's the shield. You can upgrade that, or I can do more dash damage. That's when I just yeah dash towards them. And this is just Aether, which is used to upgrade by better weapons when you're in the hub. So, since I'm not really competing in a real challenge, but I just want to upload this for them. I'm going for Aether. That's the mini boss I... Oof, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna use this now. And this. Alright. So these, this boss also has some um, some extra thing where you have to duck and move move physically out of the way to, to evade him. So that's just a mini boss, you know. It's not not the actual boss, or even not even the first actual boss. But that's already pretty difficult. Ooh, that was unfair! Ah, die! That's the advantage. <laughs> both of my weapon superpowers. I think that was a pretty big waste because the next level would be the actual boss. But, well, here you go. <laughs> Don't want it, didn't want to die so fast. there's going to be extra health crystals yes I do need them 
because I, I think the next round is the actual boss, the first, first real boss, yes, who I haven't defeated on this difficulty level yet, so you are going to be the first to witness this. I beat him on easy, but I mean, that was easy, I guess. <laughs> Beat my controller in the wall. No, not in the wall, in the, in the chair. So now that's the second phase coming now. He's gonna spawn smaller regular enemies. Yes. Good thing I can use these smaller ones. Gain some supercharged stuff, which I now have again. I think I need it. Shit, whatever. That's a real boss fight, I must say. This is a real, actual boss fight. Never had. Damn! Never had that kind of boss fight in a VR game in my life. Yes! Hell fucking yeah! <laughs> oh no! That was that it? <laughs> I think Magnificent! Oh my god! Okay. I'm uh, almost shivering. <laughs> this is exhausting. This is so exhausting. <sighs> A lot of aether. Forward two. Yeah, just let's check the aether. Got my health regenerated, that's nice. I guess that's after boss fight's default. Or at least in my difficulty level. Wow, okay. Get back in the game. Now let's see. Oh, ah, what? I thought I blocked. Cross them. Okay, I'm getting sloppy, I guess.
Again. Another time. Almost down. Okay. I think this one gives me max health. Yeah, I'm gonna try that. And hope that next time I'm gonna get... That's gonna be difficult. These are... Got the first boss. Yay me. 17 minutes. I think that's I'm proud of myself. <laughs> this is this is fun. This is Hello, fine. Champion. Okay everyone. So um the run is done. So just to give you an uh, an idea about what's otherwise happening in the game. Here you can buy new weapons, for example, this cost 30 of my currently 1300 uh, Aether. It's an axe, it's very slow. It has. Um, oh, I'm gonna buy that now. Alright. So if you look at that. No? Hmm? Okay, so here the dagger is really fast doesn't drag behind it's really fast very easy to change direction very nice to block okay so now this is a sword you can already but not much you can already see that it has a little bit of a drag but not much I, I might be mistaken here but it if I really rotate my hand fast it can only go so fast. And now this. Ah. All right, and this is the slowest. You can clearly see that it's dragging behind. All right, if I wiggle my hand around like that, not much is going to happen. 
So with this weapon it does more damage, but you have to do full strikes. Otherwise you won't be able to do anything. And you also cannot block like that. Right? You cannot do a strike and in the strike change for block. So that's really interesting as a as a change of playstyle, right? So you have you have to to use this one as a really super offensive weapon and then you need another one in the left hand to block. For example, this sword is really good for blocking. And you can also see that there's nice physics implemented. It doesn't really change much in the game. That's a nice touch. I mean, I I can still hit through it, but it's a really nice touch, it extra. And then there are some other things. This is uh, some soul burn that directly does health damage, damage through the guard. And these, I don't even know what these are. Soul burn again, I guess. It's pretty good, nice stuff. Oh, a mace. Nice for blocking, I guess. Probably also really heavy. And this. Arcane focus. Ooh. Okay. So, as you can see, I'm super early in the game. And there is much to learn. Um, and a lot of things to upgrade to get as yeah and what, what what you can also do is to just upgrade the weapon you have right so this upgrades nice the, le the weapon in my left hand here. nope this upgrades the weapon in my right hand you can already always see okay what is being upgraded the guard damage in this case i think in the other case it was also guard damage exactly but then if you upgrade a second time you get another slot and these slots are being used for the trades that you get after each room you cleared. So I, I didn't do that yet because I just wanted to get some health and get some aether to farm and upgrade my stuff here. Um, and I have no idea how much of this aether you need. I guess a lot because otherwise it wouldn't be, it, it would be very easy for me to get that much already or it was very easy for me to get that much. So yeah, um, that's the game. I hope you enjoyed this video as an, uh, as a, new or different uh, kind of video uh, other than Skyrim. I will play some Skyrim again. I couldn't play uh, in the last two months because I didn't have a functioning lighthouse box. Um, I still didn't get a replacement but uh, I could borrow one so I can play again. And uh, yeah, I am also uh, going to upload some uh, Skyrim videos again, maybe a little shorter, like half an hour, 20 minutes or something, and then a little bit more regular. Um, yeah, and something else I changed is that you can see here in the left part, um, this view that you just now see is a blend of the left and the right camera, left eye and right eye camera. Um, you cannot really get rid of this uh, seam at the edge of the of the visual field here, but um, I just wanted to ask you guys what you think about that, and uh, if that uh, is better than um, than the regular view, because the benefit is that you have much larger field of view, so you almost see the same thing as I see, um, or you pretty much exactly see the same things as I see, which uh, which is just nicer, especially also in games like Skyrim. Uh, where you have this ni nice landscape. Okay, let me know what you think. Um, and yeah, see you in the next video.